I've been eyeing this matching set by Adidas designed by Danielle Cathari for years now and decided it was finally time to try to make it for myself. Only I wanted to go the thrift flip route. So I went to the thrift store and found these four sweatshirts, all super comfy and a little oversized. And I happened to come across an Adidas hoodie. So I put these five together and here's what I came up with. Initially, I wanted to find a white sweatshirt that didn't have a picture in front, a plain one that was a little bit bigger because then I would use this material to create the stripes that are going to be on the top and skirt. But this was the only white one I could find. It had a picture and I'm going to be using this with the patchwork look. So I don't know if it's going to be enough to create all the stripes I want. So I went and I got this extra wide double fold fleece binding for those stripes. You can make your own but I'm going to be using this. I have this pattern I created tracing a hoodie that I have a long while ago. Uh, and I'm going to be using this and the sleeve that goes with it, which is very big from all that use I got out of it. So I'm going to create a panel for the front, one for the back, one for the sleeves. And I'm going to, after I put all the pieces together, I'm going to use this pattern to create my front, my back, and my sleeves for my jacket. So I just begin to cut pieces of fabric of all sizes that I'm going to sew together and cut my pattern pieces from. I use my pattern to make sure the fabric panel I make after sewing all the pieces together would be big enough to cut the pattern piece from. Once I decided which pieces would have the three stripes, I cut the fleece binding tape to size and sewed them on around the entire perimeter of each strip. This particular clip of me sewing on the stripes is from a different area of the jacket, but it's the only clip I had of me sewing on the stripes, so I threw it in here. Once that was done, it was time to assemble the fabric pieces, so I laid out my design and I sewed these two together first with a straight stitch, then I finished a raw edge with a zigzag stitch, and then I top stitched. Once that was done, I trimmed the excess fabric and I repeated the same steps to sew the rest of the pieces together. I noticed that my fabric was a bit wavy along my seam and that is caused by me stretching the fabric too much while sewing. So to avoid that, don't pull in your fabric when sewing. Once I was done sewing each piece together, I cut up my pattern. I'm going to repeat the whole process for the other front side of the jacket. Ignore this pocket, I seam ripped it from the Adidas hoodie and sewed it on, but ultimately decided not to keep it. But yeah, I added my stripes and sewed all my fabric pieces together, then cut out my pattern. I used the same exact process to create my sleeves and also to create the back. Only I created a bigger panel that I could fold in half so I could cut the pattern on the fold for the back. Once my back was complete, I sewed the fronts to the back, right sides facing, along the shoulders. Then I pinned my sleeves onto my armholes and sewed those onto my jacket. Once my sleeves were attached, I pinned and sewed the sides close, starting from the armpit down the sides and then from the armpit down the sleeves. Okay, so here's my progress so far. I accidentally cut my neckline too low, but I went and I made my neckline a little bit higher on both sides. I have this bad habit of cutting my necklines too short now and I do it all the time and I never learn. And I always have to go back and fix. Lucky for me, this is a patchwork style kind of jacket, so it still works. I want to remove the pocket for the collar. I used a sleeve of this sweatshirt. 
uh, to cut out a rectangle that I'm going to sew on and it's going to fold in half to create the collar piece. So I went and I sewed the collar on right sides facing to the neckline like this. It's the next week and I've replaced both sides. I also attached a zipper to this side. I initially wanted to use the zipper that was on the Adidas hoodie I found at the thrift store and it was fraying. I tried to burn the edge so that it wouldn't fray anymore, which worked kind of, but look what I did. I burned too much. So that was a no go and then it was too long. So I tried to rip out some teeth and I failed. <laughs> It was just very hard for me. I don't think I had the right tool, so I gave up. And I went to Joann's and just got myself a new zipper that is the length I want it to be. But it's okay. I have my white zipper on this side, which I think looks really cute, actually. I'm going to go and add my zipper onto this side and finish up this jacket. So I went and pinned the other half of my zipper onto this side and sewed it in place using my zipper foot. Once sewn on, I folded the zipper to the inside of my jacket and top stitched along the side of my zipper like this. I used my trusty hump jumper to help me get over the bulkier areas. Okay, so my zipper is added and top stitched. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move on to finishing the collar and I'm going to take these cuffs that I cut off from the light pink sweatshirt and I'm going to go and sew these onto my jacket. Then I pinned it right side spacing to my sleeve opening here, lining up the side seams. Then I went and folded over the collar. I folded under the raw edge and pinned the collar in place. And before I sewed all that in place, I went and folded the bottom edge of my jacket in half an inch and then again two and one fourth inches and pinned it in place. I went and sewed the cuffs on with a zigzag stitch, stretching the cuffs to the length of the bottom edge of my sleeve. I forgot to add the tag back in when I was pinning, so I pinned that in the center of the collar and then stitched my collar in place by stitching in the ditch on the right side of my jacket. And last, I stitched the bottom hem in place. I didn't stitch the sides of the collar because I'm going to hand sew those areas, but here are my cuffs and my collar. To finish the bottom, I'm going to add elastic into the casing I created. I cut my elastic to fit my waist snug but not too tight, and use a safety pin to help feed it through my casing. Once my elastic was all the way through, I pinned it in place on each side, and now I'm going to stitch two lines across the elastic waistband. But first, I marked a line 2 inches from the zipper edge on each side. I'm going to sew up that marked line first on each side like this. Then I stitched my two lines across the waistband, making sure to stretch the elastic as I sewed. All I have to do now is hand sew the end here on the inner side and here for each side. I love the jacket. I think it turned out super duper cute even though it doesn't have pockets, but it's a crop jacket and sometimes crop jackets don't have pockets. So it's okay because we have pockets in the skirt. So let's finish the skirt. For the skirt, I went and cut pieces from the remainder of my sweatshirts and patched them together the same way I did for the jacket. I made sure the top length of each side of my skirt was half my waist length plus seam allowance. Once I was happy with each side of my skirt, I went and sewed on these pocket pieces I cut from a pink fabric in my fabric stash. 
I pinned each side of my skirt together right side spacing and sewed down around the pocket and down the rest of the skirt on each side with a zigzag stitch. I went and top stitched the pocket in place to help the pocket to face the front of my skirt. And I also hemmed the bottom of the skirt with a double fold hem. I used this waistband from one of the sweatshirts to be the waistband for my skirt. I trimmed just above the seam. I wanted my waistband to be really snug so I cut a piece of elastic that fit my waist and sewed the two ends together like this. I sandwiched my elastic in my waistband and then sewed my waistband to my skirt like this. I went and I stitched two lines across the entire waistband, the same thing I did for the waistband of the jacket, but I didn't like the way it looked on this waistband, so I went and seam ripped that. And that completes this project. I recently hit a thousand subscribers, so thank you to everyone who's been watching and subscribing and following along my YouTube sewing journey. I appreciate you all. And I'm so glad that you're here watching these videos. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to like and let me know if there's anything you'd like to see me make. Until next time, bye!